In this video, I'm going to show you how to limit Google form responses as well as how to close forms automatically on a specific date and time. So for us to be able to go ahead and do that, what we want to do is click the three dots on the top right when we're editing our form and go to add-ons. We want to go ahead and in the search apps bar right here, search up the app called Form Limiter. As you can see, it'll be the first result. Now I already have the app installed. I'll uninstall it just to show you guys how everything will look. So once you search it up for the first time, it'll pop up with this install button. Click that, click continue. It'll ask you to just select your account and you can select that, go to the bottom, click allow and continue. And it'll let you know that form limiter has been installed. We can just click done and close out of this. So under limit type, it will show us a few different options for the form limiter. Um, so the first limit type, like we had mentioned, is date and time. So let's say we want the form to close on April 16th at 1 p.m. We can just go ahead and here select April 16th at 1 p.m. and click set right there. Um, so we have the date and time set, and here we can enter in a message we want people to see if they click on our form once the deadline has already passed. Um, by default, it puts this message, and it looks good to me, so I'm going to leave that as is. And below that, we have an option that will essentially email us once the deadline has been reached to let us know that the form is gone ahead and closed. Now, since we know and we're setting the specific date and time, we really don't need a notification since we know that this is when the form is going to be closed. So we can just go ahead and click save and enable. And that has saved. So now we know on April 16th at 1 p.m. our form will be closed and no one else will be allowed to respond. Now, in terms of the response limit, for example, in our event, we want to limit this to 85 people. And so what we can do is select the number of form responses under limit type. And here we can put in the maximum number of responses that we want. Again, we have the message for what people can see once the form has closed. And in this case, I want to make sure that we do get a notification in our email when the form has closed, just so we know that if before our specific date and time, 85 people have signed up, we want, want to make sure that we do get the notification. Again, we can click save and enable. And that is how you can limit the Google form responses as well as limit when a form automatically closes based off of a specific date and time. Now, if this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like down below. And if you do have any other questions, leave them in the comment and I will try my best to get back to you.